angel came to save his life. Look at that. That's really good, isn't it? Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now, I present to you our host, LJP Tech. So I really hope you enjoyed my previous video in regards to the assembly side and the first impression of Robot Creative DX. So for this video, I'm going to explore the software side to see how that implies to the hardware side, if you see what I mean. I hope this video will cover most of it, but if not, we're going to carry on with the next video. But before we get into this, I also want to highlight that I believe this is probably one of the best robots that you could get at the moment. And to prove that, I'm going to make a quick comparison with uh, vector robot and my emo robot in the near future so for the time being let's get into the software side so here it goes so before we get into the software side very importantly there's the home screen on the top um, so if you want to go back to the main screen or if you want to uh, lock the screen you just need to press that and then robot created dx will basically have a bit of a rest here like that but anyhow if we go back to the main screen again just by pressing that button uh, here we are again and let's actually scroll from top to bottom you'll get the wi-fi signal uh, no walking around movement this is basically basic movement without moving the base uh, that's for the uh, dialogue and that's for the actual menu screen but if we scroll down more there's subtitle notification connection settings and more so if you click on more this will explain to you what they have so there's wi-fi movement action dialogue menu subtitle notification connection settings and more so if you scroll down there's eye care led achievement orientation and speech and action so that's pretty much it so let's go to the menu side shall we so there's going to be a lot of menu that i'll try to cover as much as uh, in this video again so we've got the newer theater newer show adventure settings game achievement accessories code lab dance editor family ma management newer camera ad member newer store newer alarm and also voice command as well so the final page is instruction for file management download connection with the uh, what's this one actually connect with the robot uh, detection helper a newer role flow and also the exercise challenge as well so let's get into the newer theater shall we so the newer theater i'm just going to show you uh overall we could start with the um interactive storytelling uh storyteller sing and dance and newer english um, and also these are the extra bits and overall there's so many that we can cover here and you could actually ch uh, pick the genre but to show you interactive storytelling that's basically mean that you could actually speak to the uh, robot as well at the same time so if we click on this we got the seven minutes of the lost little puppy so I'm just going to show you briefly how this works by the way the other one you have to actually download to be able to use it but I just deliberately turn off the sound a bit but let's turn on the, the lost little puppy so let's press that the lost little puppy okay the sky was gray and the air was cold little pal said mom i'm going for a stroll as they were walking little pal found a grayish yellow thing blocking the road what is this? A plushie that looks fairly old? Oh wow, it's a puppy! Wow! Little pal panicked and rushed right back home. Back in their place sits Kevy the robot. It asked what happened just now. So you gotta ask the little pal little what's pal, going on, what okay? Going on? So let's actually zoom in to show you what's going on, okay? Please ask little pal. So I'm going to say, to what, what what's going on? So you recognize my text, uh, speech. Thank you and don't worry, little pal will tell you right away. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So let's go back to the menu uh, and so on, because we've got so much to cover, unfortunately. So if you go to newer theater again, storyteller. So if you go to Yao Fu Culture, there's the 365 uh, 
Fables. This is going to be interesting. The farmer and the eagle. The farmer found an eagle caught in a trap on his way home. As the eagle was in great pain, the farmer went up to set him free. As the eagle was saved, he was grateful to the farmer. Look at all those arm movements. And also you can see the face of the eagle as well. This is One cool, day, isn't it? The farmer was taking a rest beside a wall after he finished his work. However, he didn't know that the wall was going to fall down. Look at all this expression. The eagle found the farmer was in danger. So <laughs> Look at that. Away his headdress and flew away. To get back his headdress, the farmer got up and ran after the eagle. The eagle dropped the headdress when he saw the farmer was away from the wall. As the farmer was picking up his headdress, he heard a big sound. When he turned around, Look at that, all this head tilting. At that time, he realized the eagle came to save his life. Look at that. That's really good, isn't it? Of wisdom. All well that ends well. Thank you very much for those fables. So you could get on to the next one, but um, so those are the things you can actually play to your little kid and also you could download the audio as well. There's more to come along. So much to cover. So sing and dance. Let's go for the sing and dance example, shall we? So the newer dance. Um, not cracker, shall we? I will be moving around while I am performing. Yep. Do the nutcracker. That's quite cool, isn't it? Okay, so you get the picture. So let's go to the other one, shall we? Hello. So the Hello. newer theatre. So we got the singing dance. We got newer English. So if we just quickly skim on that one, I think this is to do with learning English and so on. So if we skip that, let's go for the um, newer Chinese as well. I think that those are just for language settings, isn't it? So that's for newer theatre only. So newer show. If we just go to newer dance, so this is basically what we covered as well. So this is the newer dance, which was part of the um, newer theater. Please let me know if you want every single individual video clip on your request. If there's a lot of people, I'll actually try to cover all of them. The adventure as well. Okay, so if we click on that, this is just please. This is like a game, isn't it? Okay, so these are the missions. Okay, so if I do that, loading. It's like playing Super Mario game, isn't it? Okay. Please help me out. I'm going to show you how to give commands. So listen carefully. Here is a block. Okay, so you gotta I think this is the way how you learn robot um, coding and so on, isn't it? Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. So that's what you do. So if I press the play button. Yeah. That's very cool, isn't it? Okay, so that's pretty much uh, the thing that we're going to do for this one. Uh, so those are the adventure settings. So these are the accounts, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi display. This is quite interesting actually people. So you can actually choose the mirror cast for casting the screens that is shown on your display. Uh, so display is basically setting the brightness, 
sound as well. I actually adjust it to minimal, um, adequate for this room. Video as well, automatically answer every 30 seconds. Autonomous behavior, that's very interesting. Motion control. So you can actually, uh, there's the action, speech action, movement and sound orientation, subtitle, LED control, eye care, auto update, uh, manual update, notification, date, storage, and about Kevy and so on. Uh, so there's games that you can explore. So this is the quiz dash, demo quiz bank. So you got you can play the single player and, and so on. So because we haven't got enough time and we've got so much to cover, let's try to speed up a bit. And then there's the achievements. So what you have achieved so far. So there's very minimal because I actually just started the proper software side of it. Uh, there's the accessories as well. So you can uh, change the way how um, KV looks like uh, robot created DX or KV looks like. So these are the things you can apply and I'm sure you could download all these sort of things as well and so on to change how a robot DX, robot created DX looks like. And also the code lab is very important people. So for those who are encoding, you go to program menu, if you click on it, and I think what you can do is you, I, you have to use your mobile phone to do the coding. We'll actually explore that later on. Also dance editor as well. Now this is quite an interesting one. So if you press plus, you just start need to do the recording of the movement on how you want robot DX to move. Okay, so you do, let's do that. And then you could do head movement as well. And then you can do whatever you want. Okay, so if you're happy with that, you just press stop. So this will be basically recorded. So let's play the preview of it, shall we? So look at that. <laughs> now soon happens the head movement as well. So those are the dance movement that you can record, which is very, very interesting. It's part of the coding, isn't it? So uh, that's pretty much it for the dance move. So if we come out, then then we got the family members. So I got LJP tech, but you could add more family members if you wish. So this basically recognize your face and it will talk to you automatically. Okay. And the newer camera is basically you use the camera to be able to take photos as well and also ad members pretty much the same thing so this is basically for adding family members as well so let's cancel that one newer store is basically you log in just like app store and you can download all those uh, useful software uh, related to robot created dx and so on there are plenty of these sort of things newer health um, and so on. So I don't need to read everything out for you because we haven't got enough time. We've got newer alarm. So you can actually add alarm as well and also voice command list. So these are the things if you're stuck with any things that you need to ask. By the way, this will automatically talk to you and you can have ongoing discussion without uh, telling its name just like any other robot. So that's very good. Now we've got the instruction for, so these are just the um, things that you're not sure of another sort of instruction manual kind of use, file management, downloads, connection with the uh, robot by using your mobile phone app, dictation of um, um, helper, and newer uh, uh, role flow, and also exercise challenge as well. Probably you're gonna like this one. So this is basically gonna ask you to do exercising and, and so on. So if we click on it, um, there's probably gonna be some movement that you, so this is level one. Okay, so let's, Play that. Please take your position. So you got to take your position and then it will basically recognize you. Look at that. That's just me standing. And then you need to fit into the screen to be able to do the exercise. So we'll explore that later on as well. So if you actually download the app called uh, Newer Space, which is connected to KB, this is how the app looks like. So if you click on it, you get these menus as well. So uh, let's focus on that. So that's code lab, video call, uh, support, album, records, family, and settings. So what I'm really mainly interested in is the video call. So if we click on that, you'll see um, remote control, video remote control. So if I dial on it, you'll basically see um, LJP Tech is calling you. So if you answer that, 
you'll basically be able to see my face. Okay. So it's actually echoing because I'm actually on the same room. Now this is quite interesting what I wanted to show you is that you can actually do remote control. So I'm not going to move this because it's locked, but you can actually move the head. So check this one out. Yeah. So you can move around to see who's actually in the room as well. Yeah. By simply sc scrolling this around. Um, but technically you could also move around as well. So if you want to check what's inside your home, what's going on, you just need to make sure someone else answers and then you can move around the house as a real person, which is very cool. Avatar, isn't it? And also you can change the expression and you can mute, video call, mute, and also change the camera as well. Interesting. So I hope through this uh, introductory video of the software side, you get the broad idea what this robot is about. Now I have to admit when I was actually going through the third or the second menu, um, I could see from the timing it already exceeded 11 minutes. So I started to get a bit panicky and I have to admit I actually rushed a bit. So apologies for that if I haven't showed you as much as detail as I wanted. But what I would like to hear from you guys is that please do comment below on which section of the menu you want me to explore more. So that will be more of a second video coming up. But uh, don't worry people, we've got plenty of videos to coming up like live streaming and also uh, like short videos and so on. So I hope you enjoyed the continuing series of exploring the robot created DX robot here. So also we're going to go through the long conversation on, to show you as a clip how well you could dialogue without actually calling, referring the robot every single time. You don't, just don't need to do that. You, the camera will basically recognize your face and you can actually have ongoing conversation as well, which is brilliant. So that's one of the things I want to explore on the live streaming and so on. There's so many things in overall we can play around with. So please stay tuned on my channel. I hope you enjoyed. I trust you enjoy uh, this software introductory video. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.